Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? I was waiting for that. So I drive them away, you'll go away, and then Manny Vargas will tell me where I can find Benny. Basically. Praise the Creator. Bless you, Wanderer. Bless us all. As soon as the Underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the Great Journey can resume. Alright, so the only way I'm going to get rid of them is to actually clear this basement out for them. I suppose the only other option is to actually wipe them out, but I'm certainly not doing that. They seem alright. Religious nutters, but they seem alright. Let me know when the underground has been rid of the demons. Um, yeah, will do. Yippee, there'll be no wedding bells for today. And we're back. Right. We're still in the Repcon facility, the testing facility, and we have agreed with the leader of the ghoul cult uh, to go and clear out the basement because apparently they have got an infestation problem. Super mutants, Nightkin to be precise, who can go invisible at will using stealth boys. And... Oh, I've already got the light on. They are going to be a little tough, I think. Now, from what I've seen so far, none of them look particularly armoured. I've got one over here. They seem to be unarmoured, so hopefully regular bullets will hurt them, but they are large. And probably not that easy to kill. I think... Eddie? Eddie? Eddie! There you are. I think we're going to use stealth. i to try to remember where the basement was. Use the map. Okay, in the opposite direction to the one I'm facing. Oh, nice one. Oh, maybe... Oh, there we go. So... We're going to use stealth, and you are honestly not the stealthiest creature on the planet. And in fact, I'm actually going to put you in true passive mode, right? And I think I am going to leave you at the entrance and scout about a little. All right. Yeah. In fact, yes, I think that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave you here. You are now waiting. Nice, little W. So this is waiting. Oh, God. Big, heavy footsteps. Um... Definitely over to that side. Oh! Okay, something patrolling past. Okay. Right. Okay, no other entrances. This actually is not too bad a room to defend. I'm gonna put a mine here just in case someone decides to come in, I can back off and... Alright, I suppose I could f fight from here, couldn't I? Am I out of the blast radius of that mine? <gasps> what the hell was that? Okay, so... I think I'm hearing something over there. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing something in that direction. Oh God. The question is, are they hostile? I think yeah, nothing around that way. It's hostile, it's hostile. All right. Okay. I can 
set mines up so if it and it went down there. Oh, I think I saw another Oreo. Whoa! one but I didn't get any experience for it which means I didn't kill it that in itself is slightly terrifying I think I see it I think I see it oh yeah I see it oh please don't go my god is that the only damage you took oh I'm gonna die Defensive position. Okay. They are armoured. I think. I saw a little armoured symbol, didn't I? I? Saw a little armoured symbol, which means those mines were barely scratching them. Damn. Okay. Um, I'm just going to put a little extra defence here in case I get... Actually, you know what? I've decided that if I come running through here with a something on my tail. This is the last place I want the explosive to be. I want it closer to the door so that it absorbs the blast. I'm hearing another one there. I wonder how much damage those rebar clubs do. Alright, let's put... Let's just put a couple of them here and here hopefully when they explode I'll be in here and the blast will go at whatever's following me okay god the visibility is fairly low isn't it I think this guy was patrolling around and he activated those and then he came in here and activated this one. Alright, that gives us a little bit of a breather this side though. Stealth. You know what? Maybe. Okay, we've got... We've got a dead nightkin down there. What the hell's killed it? Stealth boys, though. Stealth boys. That's what I should be using here. This, of any time, was ever to use it. Right. Now. Oh, right. Memory serves me right. Project Nevada changes the way I do these things, and I need to set a key for them to go on and off. There we go. The default hotkey to switch on and off is X. Single use, reusable, okay. And I get a little, so, how do I switch it on and off? Okay, I, I've not got a key for that. Um, so, um, mod configuration, Project Nevada core settings, um, bullet time indicator, no, grenades, stealth field. Alright, I've got a key I found. One of the weird things is, is when I tried to change it to that, I got... Right, that's enhanced vision. But when I tried to change it to this, I got control panel. What the hell's a control panel? Okay, so there's my stealth field. I've turned it off. And then on. And I can get to see how much I've got left. Alright, cool. What the hell was the control panel? Doesn't do anything anyway. I must Figured that one out another time. All right, so I've got stealth field that I can activate now when I really need to. And I think it's only fair, seeing as these guys are, you know, doing the same. 
Okay. You weren't killed with a trap. You were killed with a headshot. Okay. Another dead one. Okay. What looks like a non-hostile ghoul. Yeah. Come and get it, you big dumb. Hey, you're not one of those things out there. Who the hell are you? Uh, yeah, Jason sent me down to get rid of the demons. Quotation marks. And I bet he told you it's the creator's will for you to risk your ass instead of him, right? <laughs> well, yeah, how'd you guess? Good luck with that. I'd give you a hand. But no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. I like this guy. <laughs> this guy's making a whole lot of sense. First person in this building so far. You don't look like the other ghouls from Bright's Gloop. Gloop? Group. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? I never did buy into that religious mumbo jumbo with the robes and all that shit. I love this it's guy. It's only out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you. That Bright's group has got some fine-looking goulettes in it. Uh, or maybe I would have to tell you. You would, but I'm anyway, alright, that's okay. I helped them out. Each to his own. They kept me supplied with ammo and pleasant company. Dude, I... Looks like I have to kill you. What? Why would I want to kill him? This guy's awesome. How can I help you get out of this room? How did you end up getting trapped down here? That's got to be a good one. First off... I'm not trapped. Oh, you're trapped. This was a tactical choice, all right? To be trapped. I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position. And I've been defending it, right? Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Oh, okay. Name's Harland. Pleased to meet you. What happened Pleased to meet you, too. I was escorting folks down to work it. when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs. But some folks panicked and made for the basement. And I went after him. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs. And things went to shit fast. I couldn't find the others. So I fell back to this room and set up a nice little kill zone. End of story. Okay. <laughs> can, can I just get rid of that? This guy, I, I like this guy. This guy's pretty cool. How have you survived? By shooting things in the head. That's, uh, I'm gonna ask. But I know this is a stupid question. I'm not delicate. Rad roach meat for protein. Condensation off the pipes for water. And I do my business over in the far corner. Oh, right. I wouldn't say it's been comfy. Is that what I meant? How can I help you get out of this room? Why do I want him out of this room? Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. No, I, you can stay in this room. I was just... Offering to help I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowhere. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement, she's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself, except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. Okay, what what do you mean get out of my way? I was just offering to help you get out of here. Basically, you could actually follow me and sneak up to the door now, mate. Trust me, I've killed the the patrol. You're an idiot. I like you, but you're an idiot. I'll try and find your friend. Well, yeah, if I'm going in there anyway, I have to clear this place out of uh, super mutants. I'm bound to find your friend, so why not? Thanks. No skin off my nose. Let me know what you find Sorry out. Sorry about the pun. Here's hoping she's okay. Alright, so I'm offering to help him for no apparent reason other than it probably won't hurt me. And he does seem pretty cool. Right, so we're looking for his friend while we're down here. Okay. I am going to leave those there in case I have to run. Um. Hello? Why are you not invisible and why are you not viciously trying to kill me? Ok. 
Okay. What's that, Antler? We have a visitor. An assassin, more like. I say kill it, Antler, for safe sake. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay, Antler, I'll ask. Uh, hi, human. Why you come here? I came to shoot you. Are you talking to the skull? Um. Yeah, right the first time, ugly, I've come to kill you. But, um. Maybe he'll go away if I ask nicely. A human who is friend to ghouls? Suspicious. You mean the ones upstairs? Antler used intercom, told them stay put, but they want to come down in basement anyways. I cannot allow. My kin are not right in head like I am. They attack you on sight. Ghouls too. They crazy. Your ghoul friends have to wait until you find what Antler brought us to get. Um. Uh, all right. So I find something for you. You go away. I don't have to kill you all. Okay. That's yeah. Uh, maybe I can help. But yeah. Go on then. Good. Antler brought us here for a reason. Why was that, Antler? Right. A, a piece of paper. Shipment invoice. Hundreds of stealth boys sent here a, a long time ago. But stealth boys must be in the one room. One we don't search yet. Oh, the God. one we can't search. Uh, the guy, the ghoul, that's why he said he'd get out of my way. Right, so you can't search the last room. I have to find his friend before he lets me in there. He lets me in there, I find... Oh, God, really? And then you'll go away. Why is it never easy? Why can't you search the last room? Because you get your heads blown off. A ghoul, but not squishy like others. This ghoul is tough. I thought Antler said, send my kin into that room, but three died. Cool is a crack shot and set traps too. Traps. After I oh, realized okay. I heard Antler wrong, so I locked the door to keep Ken out and wait for Antler to tell me what to do. Then you come along. Antler says you are solution. <sighs> I'll find the stealth boy stop pal for you if you and your kin will get out of here and. Yes, Antler says we leave here as soon as we get stealth boys. I've actually found Let a note about it. Antler had me lock the door. The ghoul inside, not expecting a human. Maybe he don't shoot you. Maybe he will. Uh, oh, can't I talk to you about the rest of the things? I, I want to continue the conversation a little bit, mate. Antler sings for stealth boys. Have you found them? No, I just... Oh. Keep looking. Antler wants Nightkin to have them. I want to have the rest of the conversation. You had some interesting options there. Alright, can I... I'm gonna check to see if there's anything useful while I'm here. Now, here's the question. Are your guys... Oh, I suppose I don't need these here. You said your guys are not right in the head. Attack me on sight. Is that still true? Because, um... You know, I'd rather it wasn't. Oh. Okay, I've got... All right. I can still hear them. I'm still gonna have to fight. Oh my god! No. Oh, ow, I'm crippled. Brilliant. Oh. <sighs> Brilliant. One hit, crippled. Awesome! Right, doctor's bag will. Yeah. <sighs> oh, and that used another doctor's bag. Well, I didn't want it. The thing is, he's. One will make it not crippled, but you need another one to give it health back, otherwise you'll get crippled the next time you even get looked at. But that's used both my doctor's bags. Damn. What was the other one? Restores... Apparently this stuff, Hydra, will restore limb condition permanently. Although I'm suspecting I can get addicted to it. What? Oh. I'm 
running low on health as well. Oh, you, I forgot my stealth field. Oh, God, I'm such an idiot. Fine. Stimpact worn off. Do I have any other? Healing powder. Let's take two of those. Why can't it? I was pressing the wrong key, that's why. Just in time. Where's he going? Oh no, come on! There's no way you saw me! I'm stealthed and st Headshot, headshot before he hits you, before he hits Oh, I'm so... Panicking time, panicking time. Oh, maybe I should stick my shotgun. Alright. Stealth boy. Total uselessness. <sighs> Fine. You know what? I'm going to go and check that. Oh, I can't even see that anymore. There's another one there, right. I'm going to go check down here. Someone following me. Oh, I'm gonna take some healing powder. Oh. I think we found one. Oh, is that an incinerator? That's an incinerator. That's not necessarily particularly brilliant. I can't see a damned thing. So, when he comes back, we shoot him and then we run and let these do the damage. And then we shoot with a shotgun. Sounds like a plan. Those rebar clubs are devastating. Is he coming or is that a one-off? That's not a one-off. He's going to come back. There he is. Head. Oh! So, they're actually vulnerable to headshots. Nice. Jail key. Jail key. Do you think they've got this guy's friend in jail? I shouldn't be sneaking around with my torch on. Oh, I can't see anything now. Okay. I must remember to run back and pick all my mines up if I don't, you know, kill everyone. Okay. Okay. A place full of loot. Fishing batteries. I don't actually have any of those. I'm going to pick up one. And a conduct... No, I'm not. Oh, and I left Eddie behind. Oh, that's annoying. Truly. Plasma pistol. It's not worth much, really, is it? No, I'm going to drop that. What else do I need to drop? Oh, no, I'll tell you what I could do. I could just wear my... Wait a minute. Why does that backpack not give me minus one agility? It just gives me plus 50. Oh! 
Now it gives me minus two agility. Plus 50, minus two agility. All right. Does it depend on... No. Well, I want my agility. I'm sorry, but I want my agility. What else can I drop? And the reason is, is I, I actually think there are some things I need a conductor for and some things I need a fission battery for and it's probably nice to have at least one of each. What about ammo? Have I got a bunch of ammo I don't need? Very probably. You know what? I'm going to drop the fission battery. It's too damn heavy. <sighs> so annoying. Oh, I'll tell you what there was. There was a Ooh, sensor module stuff. Oh, those are really useful. I can make um, special mines with those. Is that going to be too much? No. Good. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Scramel! Oh! I put my backpack on. I put my backpack on. Agility is overrated. Fine. Okay, where was my... Where was my fission battery? There's another one here. Taking you. I might as well set the sensor module. Now! Oh, many of them. Apparently I can use pilot lights. If I have a mod, there's a, I can use pilot lights to repair ovens and use them to cook things, which is probably very cool. Okay. Now I've not heard anything wandering around, so I think it's safe to put the torch on for a little while. That goes down. Try that in a minute. Empty. Hammer. Everything's empty. All right. Okay. So we're going down. I think I just leave the pit boy light on. Okay, jail key. Right, so this is the jail. I think I would have heard something by now if, if there was something in here. Scrap metal. Oh, I f did I forget my scrap metal? I left my scrap metal in that room, didn't I? I have to put in the backpack on. No, I didn't. I definitely need to store this in my new home. So that's, that was where I came in. Is that Ghoul Prisoner? Completed optional find Harlan's friend who has been imprisoned by the Night King. I think I've got some bad news for him. Alright, but still, good news is he should leave now. And then the Night King will leave and then blah blah blah. Then hopefully the ghouls will get out of there and then I can... Uh, be on my merry way. Did I, I looted you? I just don't want the incinerator. Must pick up mines. Oh, tell you what. Did I put some mines up here? I did, didn't I? I guess I don't need to keep searching the place and looking for more. Tr what, what does that say? food. Really? <clears throat> okay, but it said food. Brahmin steak. Stealth boy! But I'm not hearing any of them anyway, so I th think I think I'm alright. Grilled mantis, it's pretty good. Iguana on a stick, very good. 
need something to wash it down with. Right. Okay. No, I'm... I'm I was about to say I'm exploring. I should stop doing that. Um, wow! No wonder they want to come to this place. Look at it. Pilot lights. I'm going to take a few pilot lights. I'm going to run out of space even... Even with a backpack on. Oh, I can't take all of this. Now, I do need some tin cans, don't I? I do need tin cans. I can't remember what for. Is it is it ammo or something? I do. I need tin cans every now and again. So I'll take a few of them. Oh, I've got enough sensor modules now. I can't... Oh, I, I just... I want to come in here and loot it horribly later on. How much stuff have I, am I carrying now? I'm almost in my carry weight already, and I'm... Oh, wait a minute. Have I actually cleared this place now? Isn't this going to lead me right back? Have I been in here? No, I've not been in here. I have a feeling I've killed all the Nightkin. I'm not hearing any of them now. Yeah. Right, yes. This is where the, what, the guy with the... All right, cool. So now we go talk to Harland. Give him the good news. Hey, Harland. Did you find my friend? Yeah. I see. Well, spare me the details. Damn it. I'm gonna miss that crooked yellow smile. All right. Okay. You did your part, so I'll do mine. Look around up here if you want. I'm gonna make a break for topside. Alright, now... There were traps mentioned, weren't there? I pr probably... should approach this with some care. In fact... with more than some care. Oh! Actually, I should have paid attention to where he ran, shouldn't I? He ran that way. Alright, you know what though. Let's... Can I disarm this or do I have to trip it? What was that going to do? That was going to shoot me with a shotgun, was it? Let's take some... Did I just see... Did it... Did it just say I'm crippled? Ow! What? What just happened? Oh. Oh, did I just blow Harland up? Um I'm, 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 I'm in some trouble. I'm in more than some trouble. Harlan? Dude? Those mines? I forgot about them, mate. I really did. They were there for the Night King. Oh, what? I'm crippled to high hell now. Harlan? Don't be annoyed at me, mate. Really, seriously. And please don't kill Eddie on your way out. He didn't kill Eddie. But what happened? Why did... Uh, what did he do? Did he come and throw a... Did he come and throw a grenade at me or something? Because I took huge amounts of damage. Look at me. I'm, a, I'm crippled to high hell. I don't... Oh, Actually, no. Wait a minute. Really? Is it curing me? What happened? I mean, I was just stood there, looting a toolbox. What just happened? Well, I know what just happened. Oh, okay, Hydra. Hydra is pretty good stuff. Let's pick up tons of that. Okay, it looks like all the traps got set off. Okay. 
Okay, and we have... Please have Hydra. No. <sighs> okay, that trap was activated. Alright, I think we've cleared all the traps. At least... There. Ah, oh, memo to self before speaking to quest givers in the area. Clear up any mines you may or may not have laid down. Oh, that was stupid. Alright, anything else? I still don't trust this guy. God, when I get upstairs, is he going to be really upset with me? <coughs> Excuse me, frogging my foot. Alright. Ardy shipment mistake. To Robco HQ Supply Department from Bill Martin Rebcom Custodian. Dear Robco Supply, first of all, let me say everyone here is really excited about the merger. It's I've read that one. Workplace misbehaviour. In light of yesterday's upsetting events, all employers are hereby directed to give a thorough reading to Repcon's sexual harassment and workplace behaviour policies. Also, whilst it is not in explicitly stated in the employee handbook, unauthorised use of military hardware against fellow employees is grounds for immediate termination. Um, they've been using stealth boys to peek on themselves, on other uh, workers, haven't they? We are sending back two crates of devices labelled Stealth Boys back to you. According to the manifest, each crate contained one gross, 144 of the devices. Oh, are you kidding me? There were 288 of the things here. As a result of employee misbehaviour, not mine, one crate was opened and is missing five Stealth Boys. Sorry about that, sincerely. <laughs> oh, God. Right, so they're not here. Fine. Are there any crates I can open? No. Brilliant. He's not going to be happy, is he? Can I not get that way? He's not going to be happy. There are no stealth boys here, I'm afraid. Oh. Is this where you were stood? With... Nice! Nice, nice, nice. These are good rounds. Can I... Is there anywhere else for me to go? Probably not. I'll tell you what, I want to get down, but I can't be bothered going all the way around. Alright, so we've found out that there are no stealth boys. And uh, I think everything is dead now. Oh, God. Is, is Harland okay, actually? I should, I should look around for his corpse, of course. I might have killed him. Oh, that was really bad, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, oh, there you are. Okay, dude. Antler says you are the one killing my kid. Wouldn't I know what? 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 Killing it? I did. Oh, this is just really annoying now. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, it was all a dream. It was all a dream. He hasn't set off the explosions yet. Oh, where the hell are they? Where the hell are they? One. Okay, next one. Okay. I'll see you up there, mate. Oh, all right. Um, what just happened? Okay, this game just weirds me out on so many levels. Right, so. On the bright side, we got a second chance. <laughs> just, why did he attack me? Disarm the trap wire. Nothing else. Seriously! I disarmed! <sighs> Fine! Oh, now I crashed. Okay, so I crashed. Run! Right, I crashed. After all sorts of fail. Okay, you're safe. What is going on? That's my first crash. That is my. That's the first crash I've had since I started playing this game. Right. Um, you know what? Quick save. So, disarm the bear trap. Then we look around. 
Oh. Oh. Sneaky. Really sneaky. What? I need 28 explosives to dis- Oh. Very sneaky. I like it. Oh. Right. What? What's explosives? Plus 10. Disarm and collect mine. Disarm. Disarm and collect mine. Are there any others? Alright, okay. Was there anything in there? Toolbox? Lead. We want lead. And we want scrap electronics. Okay. We're going to have to keep our eyes open. For... Oh! 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 Oh, you sneaky thing, Harland. You got me. Oh, I knew I liked Harland. I re I need to get this done pretty fast before my explosives drops back down. Oh, and there was a yes. Okay, well, that was a, that was a huge bag of fail. But, <laughs> I now have all of my limbs, and Harland hopefully will be alive and not completely annoyed with me. Let's just disarm these in case I come running down here and forget. I don't think I... Oh, look at that. Oh, no, dude. If I'd have followed his... You know what? I should find Harland and kill him. Because he didn't mention any of that. He must have known I was probably going to get killed. And I should keep my eyes open as well. Because there's no guarantee that I'm not up here. Because of course I think when I set one off. I was setting all of them off. I still can't believe I've survived it both times though. There they. And it was shipment sent back. There we go. Alright. <laughs> oh. Sneaky Harland. Whoa, that was not the way I wanted. No, I can drop that way. Now, the, the the big question now is, is the big guy still annoyed at me because I've been killing his people? I mean, it, I mean, you know, it's not my fault. He did, they did attack me. Right, let's see if, let's, maybe it was the explosion, but I don't think so. I think he's going to go bonkers at me, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, what? No, 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 no. Screw Antler. Oh, I'm going to die. Oh. oh. Mm. It's not my fault I had to kill him. Jeez. Stupid antler. <sighs> now, out of curiosity, what are you guarding? Let's just go tell Jason the good news. God, that's annoying. And, of course, I've got damaged limbs. It seems I was destined to wander out of this place crippled no matter what you know what though <sighs> oh no so I did use the doctor's bags already <sighs> fine Eddie we're leaving don't even ask about what went on mate please lots of fail All right. So. Oh, Holland, how you doing? You did good, smooth skin. <laughs> Never thought I'd get out of that room. Oh, me neither, actually, mate. It looked dicey for a little while. <laughs> and I'm so glad Later. I didn't blow you up. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, dear. Hello. 
Is the way clear? Well, hope so. I. What is it with me and the stupid insults? Right, the demons are gone. Praise the Creator. Praise minds and, and bless a shotgun. You wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. That's nice. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. But you're gone now, right? You, you. Still can't take this. Head to the Repcon basement and talk to the Jason to Jason Bright about what comes next. No, no, you're supposed to be leaving. I've helped you kill it. You leave. You go. You, you go. And let me loot everything. That's that's fine. We're going back down to the basement. Yes, I want to come back here after they've gone and loot all the party hats. That's it. I want somebody to make a mod that lets me put a party hat on Eddie. Whoa, dudes! What's with the funky outfits? And can I have one? Alright. Guys, thank you. Okay. It's not the sort of site that fills you with confidence, really, is it? But we are at a rocket test facility, and they are wearing spacesuits. Okay. So I'm guessing their plan to leave involves basically really actually leaving. They're not going to sit around, meditate, and then drink the Kool-Aid. They're actually going to try and blow themselves into space. I'll, I'll catch you right up. I'm just having a quick shufty to see if there's anything. You're not going to need it. Because, you know. You're leaving. All right, I, I'm going to come back and loot this place. Absolutely empty. See, oh, really? I've got a backpack on and I still have carried too much. How many, go on, how many of these um, scrap metals have I got? Way too many. Alright, let's just drop some. So... Oh, this is nicely well lit. What else do we have? Loads of stuff, my god! This is a Lootaholic's wet dream. Why can't I have a player's home down here? Hmm? Still need the torch. God, I love the interior lighting mod. Uh, mod. It really does make these sort of areas look cool. Okay, radiation? No radiation. No radiation, nothing useful. Oh, a ammo bench. Well, I've already got. I've got an eddy. I don't need an ammo bench. However, a foot locker. Scra oh, scrap metal. Brilliant. Okay, where's this go? Climb ladder to Mojave Wasteland. No, this is not the way we're going. Oh, there's Jason. Hello, how you doing? Workbench. Oh, maybe what I could do is take a load of the stuff that... Awesome! I get a spacesuit! Oh, spacesuit's heavy. Oh! What a spacesuit. I think... Hello. Hello. I think what I'm going to do is take a lot of the stuff and see what I can loot and make and make things and just give them to you and... Yeah. Oh. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. Okay. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. Oh. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. No, there isn't. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. 
are you seriously going to make your great journey on <laughs> that? Seriously? Oh, the Star Wars lines come to mind. You came here in that? You're braver than I thought. Are you seriously going to make the great journey on those rockets? Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. They'll convey you somewhere. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. Okay. Yeah, I've got to be honest with you, that's what I'm thinking. I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. But the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. Fine. Let's talk about... Why do I want to talk about Chris? After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed... lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us to ensure the success of the great journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity. Oh, that's convenient. And his inability to make the journey himself. Oh, very convenient. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the great journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you and Chris to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. You are hey, 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 hey. I've committed no crimes against you. I don't need to make up for anything. And I certainly don't need to make up for crimes committed by some other doofuses some other time. Don't be bringing me in that way. So you're going to leave Chris behind. You guys, you just used him. There's a whole, we tried to convince him and then we realized he was unbelievably useful. Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. Yeah, you pretty much, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what you did. I take no pleasure in hiding the truth from Chris. And yet you did it. But it is the Creator's will to which I must submit. Worst excuse ever, mate. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. A large bag of cats. Your arrival here help. was a blessing. We will remember you always. I'm not going to forget you in a hurry either. Chris, dude, these guys, they've been stiff in you. Yes. I suppose. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Great Journey, we use those... <laughs> Obviously. It's taken months, but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. Ugh. What do you do here? You're nuts. I'm the Flock's resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. Jason says the Great Journey would have been impossible without me. Of course, my skills aren't much use unless I have the right materials. That's where you come in. There we go. Why don't they let you work down on the launch pad? Have you not thought of that, mate? When I joined the flock, Jason made it clear that he wanted me to supervise the repairs, not do them That's myself. Because you're not a ghoul! It would be a waste of my gifts to work on just one system at a time. From up here, I've been able to supervise the entire project. You're human. I thought we were past all that smooth skin. But you just can't resist the chance to mess with me. You know what? Typical human. I was human once, you know. Grew up in Vault 34, northeast of here. Nice upbringing if you like assault rifles and target practice. But oh, you prefer machines that don't shoot people? Not so nice then. Who should maintain the Vault's reactor? Hauser, Mitchell, no. Make it Haversum. He likes machines. Haversum won't mind getting irradiated. Haversum won't mind mutating. He's already ugly as it is. Oh, you got issues. Haversum won't mind when his hair starts falling out after a few years. There's no connection, Haversum. You're neurotic. You are. You, you left the vault because you were going bald. You think you're a super mutant because you're a cue ball. 
bald? You call this bald, Smoothskin? I'm a monster. A monster! I now understand why Jason stopped trying to convince you. Because it's irritating. Just tell me how I can help get you guys out of here. I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. So we need both of them. Wh where do I find the igniting agent? Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Um, where do I get it? Where would I find atomic fuel for rockets then? Can you give me any tips? Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up. If they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. Industrial ruins to the east. Radioactive. Brilliant. All right. What would you rather be doing? Well, what's the other one? Thrust control modules. All right. Anything else? Yeah, where's that? Scavengers wouldn't know the value of the modules just by looking at them. If you know any junk dealers in the area, I'd start there. All right. Junk Later. dealers. Find a junk dealer. Where, where am I going to find a junk dealer? Data. World map. Actually, let's have a look at the quests first. I've got... Come play with me. Find parts to fix the rockets. J oh, it's even giving me a map marker. Not too far north of Novak. And there was an industrial to the east, an industrial complex to the east that was radiated over here somewhere, was it? Fine, well this place is pretty close, we'll get this one first, then we can come back and find the second thing we need to find, get that, and then hopefully get these loonies blasted into outer space. Hey. Yippee, yeah.